Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Wednesday, hump day. I don't know why it ends up that I usually make videos on Wednesday, but today I thought I would do a quick video. One, I wanted to just update you um, if you have emailed me or my computer, my email is so messed up because my computer started messing up. It would do this thing where when I went to delete something off of my desktop, like old videos and stuff that I need to get rid of to make room for new stuff, it would do that thing where it would just have that little swirly thing, you know, that's not good. And so, oh God, let me turn this off. It distracts me. Um, so John looked at it and he said that he thought I had a virus, even though we have antivirus. He said, did you click on something? And I know better than to click on things. But anyway, he had to totally redo my computer. So it made, when he loaded my emails and stuff, it made it where I couldn't tell what I had read. It just messed everything up. So I've been kind of out of it on um, trying to get my stuff back in order. So, but today I thought I would do just a quick video. Um, one of you guys told me, and let's see if I can find. Um, one of you asked me, and then somebody seconded it, second in that somebody seconded it <laughs> asked me if I had ever tried the Revlon retractable lip liner in nude and you mentioned this on the video that I did I think I showed um, the Edward Bess lip liner that combo so um, I ran in the CVS yesterday and got it and I really like it I've got it on today and I've got it on with one of my favorites that I do not wear enough. When I picked it up, I was like, oh, man, you know, it's like, why well, I don't wear you more, but it's the Tom Ford Spanish Pink. It used to be one of my favorites when the Tom Ford first came out. And, you know, I get new things, new things, and I forget about the old ones that I really like. But anyway, so that's what I've got on today. And I've got on just a little tiny bit. Sorry, I put on some individual lashes, and they um, are getting stuck on my bottom lashes but anyway so i'm going to um, swatch this along with i picked out um let's see four others of my favorite brownie nude type lip liners um so the first one i'm going to do is i'm going to swatch this which is a it really is a beautiful color so that is the revlon color stay nude okay then right beside it, I will do the Edward Bess Natural. Okay, so you can see the Edward Bess Natural is a little bit lighter, but mostly the same tone. I, I can see that the Edward Bess is a little bit um, rosier, whereas the um, Revlon is maybe a little bit more of an orangier tone. Okay, this is the infamous linen from Dior. One of you told me that you bought this and you didn't think it was discontinued. I mean, my my Dior counter doesn't sell it anymore and I don't know of anywhere else you can get it, but if you can, get it. It's a good one. Okay, so this is the nude, I mean, or linen from Dior and um, it is, oh goodness, it is just, they're different. It's more of a, just more of a neutral. Whereas you can see that's more of an orangey and that's more of a pinky tone, which there's room for all of them. <laughs> okay, this is the Gucci um, Burnt Cinnamon that I just got that I really like. Okay, so you can see it is lighter and Hmm. I don't even know how to say. It's um, got more of a golden tone, maybe. Yeah, it's probably the easiest one out of these three. I don't know that Edward Bess is a good one, too. Okay. And then the last one is Bronzel. Yes. Which is a fabulous lip liner from Lancome. Okay. And there's Bronzel which is a um, bronzel is probably most like uh, bronzel is the most probably like linen 
that I see there. So I hope you can see those. And these pretty much go with anything. And let me put my hand up here and see if you can see it. So you see the first one's Revlon, then Edward Bess, then Lennon, then Gucci, and then the Bronzel. So they're all, you know, you think that they're all the same, but they're all pretty different. That's kind of neat for me to see that, because then I can kind of gauge that to wear with different lipsticks. And then today I also have on this, which is that um, Armani, it's the one that I like in the black to use like as a liner. And today I thought, I'm not really doing that much. I thought I'm gonna play with this. It's the number three, and I'm not sure of what the actual name is, but it's one of these cream shadows and it's not real pigmented. There it goes. And by the time you rub it out a little bit, it's very, very wearable. <laughs> it's my Endora look. <laughs> it's gonna be it. I think I just wanna do a real quick video and thank you for telling me about that Revlon Nude. I really do like it. I was impressed with how well it went on. Even though it's retractable, it was easy to kind of tilt on its side and um, you know, put on well. And um, let me show you these real quick while I'm sitting here. This is part of that, I thought about it when I just saw this color. This is part of that collection that Meryl Norman sent me. And I've had it up here and I, my intentions were to do a tutorial. And I just don't know when I'm gonna get to that. So I'm gonna show you that this is their Soft Touch Eye Pencil in Ocean Blue. This is from that latest collection that had the real pretty lipsticks that I showed you. And I've worn them, I think, on Instagram. But this is the Ocean Blue. I mean, they're gorgeous. I mean, and they say soft touch, and they are. And then it's got, of course, the smudger on the other end. But you can smudge it out. And then this one is, I think, a darker one. It's called Peacock. It's more of a green, greeny blue. That is really pretty. But you could also use these probably on your lid as shadows. But this is what the one that I like the most out of the two eyeshadow quads. Let me see. Okay, this one. And this one is called, this is their summer collection. This one's called Miami Spice. And what I like about it is that orangey color right there. They're all light colors. But there's that good peachy orangey color that is just the best... <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Just the best crease color. And then right here is a good, very, very wearable gold color. And then a tan color. And let me see if I can. So there you go. And that's just a good crease color. And then, let's see, I did bring my paper towel up here. This one I have used the tan out of it. It's like a taupey color. And it's got just a plain, like a buttercream type color, and then a taupey color, and then this blue, which I've always loved that blue, just like I have it on today, just on the moving part of the lid. I think that's so pretty. So if I wanted more of a pop, I could put that blue on there, but I hate to go too crazy. But um, so I've been meaning to show you those. And like I said, the two lipsticks that they sent me, there's like an orangey one, and I think it's Cherry Crush and then Sumptuous, and they are really pretty. I wore Sumptuous, I've worn that to the beach twice because it's such a good beach color. And um, so now that I can take these downstairs, I'll probably wear them, and Brooke has been, she always says, remind me to wear that. She wants to put one of these like on her waterline or something and try it. So, and for accessories, um, let's see, let me wipe these lip liners off so I don't get them somewhere. I have on, my nail polish is a newer one from China Glaze, and it is, it might even be in that same collection as that other one I showed you, but it's called You Drop Me Coconuts. It's just a real pretty pink. It's not actually fluorescent, like it's not a fluorescent matte, you know, type um, polish, but it is really bright. It looks really pretty on toes. It's actually what I had on my toes before I just put this blue color. And then, um, my same Dean Davidson necklace, and then, oh gosh, you guys know I love these earrings. Well, these are the gunmetal, and I, when she said that she had gunmetal and I ordered them, I thought she would have, like, black 
CZs in there, but they're not. They're the, the crystal ones, and they're just so pretty. I think it's just, these are my new favorite earrings. I wear them all the time with anything. They're real light, and I just, I, th I like how simple they are, but yet how fancy they are, and they can go all the different directions. And then I got some more of the um, ball rings. I got only, I think I only got two of these, and I just took one. And then I got some champagne and some gold. I got the, the big ones and the ones with the medium, the medium balls. <laughs> you decide whether you want big balls or medium balls. And um, is that it? I think it is. And I hope you guys have a good rest of the week. We have been just busy, busy with, you moms know how it is with EOGs and like practice EOGs and all that kind of stuff at school. Brooke has exams and she's doing a bunch of reviews. And, um, what else we've been doing work in the yard you know just all that kind of stuff so i just wanted to squeeze in a quick video and then i will see you guys on friday i have something really i have two one set of really exciting things to show you and then another product that i discovered kind of by accident i got a sample didn't think i'd really like it or didn't even barely even tried it i mean i, I sometimes probably would have not even ever tried it but um, ended up loving it and then something else new I'm doing with my powder. So I'll leave you hanging on that and I will see you on Friday. And I just have on um, a maxi dress. It's an older one and um, it's from Bloomingdale's. And if I can uh, find something like it, I will link it below. But it's, it's actually from year before last. A lot of you got it. So and it's just a easy, something easy to throw on. And I've got on my ever faithful... <laughs> Can you tell I wear them a little bit? Javiana flip-flops. Okay, you guys have a good day, and I will see you on Friday. Bye-bye.